About 400 villages were inundated and over 4,000 persons moved to relief camps in Andhra Pradesh due to floods in East and West Godavari districts. The water level in Godavari River at Badrachalam on the Telangana side of the river on Saturday touched 46.6 feet. The authorities in both states issued the first warning alert when the water level rose to 43 feet. At 6 p.m. on Saturday, the flood water had discharged at a rate of 11,10,953 cusacks per hour and was released from 175 gates of Dauleshwaram barrage in Rajamahindravaram. The inflows at the barrage also stood at the same outflow figure, a report said. As many as 4,000 people were shifted from flood hit Daipattanam, Yoyeru, Agraharam, Dandangi and Ye Viravaram mandals to relief camps at Dammanapallu, Musiri Milli and Rampachodavaram. RTC buses and tractors have been deployed to ferry the villagers to the relief camps. NDRF has also been deployed with boats to move the villagers to safety. Alerts have also been sounded in island villages of Amalapuram Division and boats have been kept on standby for their evacuation. Bathing in the river guards has also been temporarily banned. Boating in the river Godavari has also been suspended. The IMD in the meantime has predicted moderate to heavy rainfall in the next two days in several parts of coastal Andhra Pradesh. Officials expect the flood level to rise further in the region. The state government announced the distribution of 25 kg of rice and other essential commodities to the affected families. At Ganti Pedapuri, where four villages were cut off after a temporary bridge washed away, the state has set up boats in case there is need for evacuation. While many island villages in the Konasiwa region have reported soil erosion, several houses and villages, the Devi Patna Mandal in East Godavari, were submerged. A report said that more than 30 villages in the Mandal are submerged or cut off from the mainland. NDRF teams have evacuated several tribals from their habitations in 10 villages and ITDA Rampachodavaram authorities are providing them with essential commodities. Godavari water has also entered famous Gandiposamma temple in Gonduru village and the temple authorities have asked their devotees not to come to the temple till the water recedes. In Rajamandri, NDRF forces have evacuated fishermen from the Bridge Lanka and Pichukalanka islands. In East Godavari, the National Highway 30 Ibrahim Patnam in Vijaywada to Jagdalpur in Chhattisgarh and National Highway No. 226, which is between Chintur and Odisha, have got flooded with water flowing over the road. A report said the transportation to about 70 villages has been cut off in four merged mandals of Chintur, Viyarpuram, Kunavaram and Yetapaka. Another 50 villages in Velar, Padu and Polavaram are moved and officials are trying to reach those villages to ship the victims to safer places.